Hi again, everyone. Welcome back. I'm doing another fun, as you can see, scrap with me. I still have this pile that I'm going through, and I have a few planned out and a few that I'm going to kind of like improvise, I guess, as I go along. Um, but let's start with, um, let me show you these um, things. Well, first of all, when I was going through my pile, I saw this, and <clears throat> I'm sure Many of you were like me, and we never finished these, like, little journal cards and things. And I don't really, I don't know if you guys do. You can answer this in the comments. But do you typically cut these out, or do you just leave them as you go? I definitely leave it as I go. And it's actually probably beneficial because at this point, you can, like, um, take your, your card and make it a card. So if you have any, like doubled up ones or some this is too easy to just go ahead and make a card with so that's just an idea for some of those cards that you have the journal cards laying around and you don't even have to stop here you can really make this pop by adding some um you know little dots on there or you can sew the edges to get, make it just a little more interesting. Like personally, if I was going to run this through my sewing machine, I would put probably some gold trim around here. I think that would be really beautiful or maybe some white thread. And if you don't know how to sew, that's okay. You still don't need to do those. You could always do a glitter accent around the card. I have showed many times um, like an example of it. Maybe I'll just do a quick one for the newbies. I like to just take some double-sided tape. Actually, let me use a thin one because this is um, this is actually pretty small. So this is just my double-sided tape. And again, I'm just kind of improvising as I go along. And I'm really enjoying this. You guys are really loving this series too. I think I could do this all day. Just, I don't even think we need to buy paper anymore. Let's just use our scraps. <laughs> because you can make so many beautiful things with them. And we don't wanna waste trees, right? We have the scrapbooker guilt. I love paper, but I love trees. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that tape on there. And many of you who've been following me for a long time already know what I'm probably gonna do. But I see I have so many newbies on here. I want to just, and it's always nice to do a refresher and see how things come out. So let me just use a scrap. So I've taken off my tape and I'm just gonna grab some loose glitter and I'm going to, and then we're just gonna see this journal scrap come alive. And just dab it off. So what you would typically do is just um, put this around the entire border. So yeah, if you don't sew, do this around this and it will come alive. They will never know that you just like had a journal card out of this. And then if you want to stretch it even more, you could even start playing with your scraps and look through them. See, look, I have plenty more journal cards too to do that with. So I could make four cards out of just this if I wanted to do that. But I'm gonna put that one aside because I think we're done with that. So like maybe something like this I've already cut into, you can make a pocket in there if you want and just send a little goodie. So for those who aren't good at measuring, I wanna show you a trick. Just eyeball things, and then you're gonna really start to understand what you're doing. So, like, if you're not good at measuring, just take your object, whatever it is, and just throw it on there. And we know that this is a three inch card, so if you don't know that, you will when you measure it up to there, and just kind of trace right here, and that is gonna fit inside of your card because we know we measured it. So, I'm just gonna take this and Cut it. And then you can just either do it sideways or do it the normal way. And you can glue that right in here and you have a little pocket. So you don't necessarily have to learn your measurements. You can always take whatever you have and just put it on there, okay? That's just another thing. So you could sew this, glue this, or tape it. 
So just to make things quick, one of these days, you guys, I will have my sewing machine on my desk when we have like a forever home. And by the way, we found out where we're going and it's not far. I thought we were going to Europe. I was manifesting it so hard, you guys. <laughs> And guess what? We're staying in Georgia. We're just going a couple hours away. So there's that. And there you go. You have either your card or just like a little like album that you can send goodies in. Okay. So that is one idea. And again, you don't even have to do this with a journal card. You could do this with the same, just a scrap paper like this and fold it. That was just a way to show you to use, um, you know, these journaling cards. So there's that. Next, I want to show you some fun things I made, um, which are here. So here, so this is pretty self-explanatory and it's kind of, I wanted to start with that because I want to show you how you can start to measure things. So here I'm just using some vellum and some regular paper. So again, I just take these random sheets right here and you can make these pockets. You can see I stitched it with the gold. And you see that really adds a lot of texture to it and it just looks so pretty but of course we can glue it we can tape it so um i'll just kind of show you what i did which is pretty pretty obvious but i'll just show you my process so i just got like a paper like this it's kind of awkward and i'm just gonna i'm not measuring it but if you guys want to know, I'm just gonna put it at three and a half. Just trying to get rid of some of that. And I'm gonna knock that off. So it's about six inches right here. And I just dropped it. My dog's over there taking a nap, trying to probably snag it. He eats everything still. Okay. So I've got this and I typically have like a standard I always do. I usually kind of go about one and a half inches into my paper, but obviously if it's a smaller paper, then you don't want to do that. So I just kind of fold it there. And then you can corner round it or you can leave it. And now I'm just going to measure this. So however big your paper is, just you measure it. We know it's three and a half and this is, mine happens to be by four and a half. So I'm just gonna take another paper and make it three and a half inches by four because I wanna leave a little room on the top. So I'm just kinda gonna dig around my scraps and find another one to cover the front. Okay, and this is gonna be perfect. So again, if you're not good with measuring, here's the trick. Wait, is this gonna be four inches? Okay. If you're not good at measuring, just do this and draw a line and then cut it, okay? But I already know that this is three and a half inches. And I'm gonna cut it down to four. can just kind of you know use those random pieces especially for the papers that are just kind of awkward like you couldn't make it an envelope by itself or whatever and then you'll have this cute little pocket here I actually would like this a, a little shorter but I'm just gonna leave it and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my punch you guys this is so important with scraps circle punches because number one you can do embellishments with it and number two, um, it's just you can do so many things with it. Actually, I kind of like that, but that might be too busy. Let me see. Yeah, let's use this side. So because, again, I don't have my sewing machine on my desk, I'm just going to glue this where you can tape it. They need something with fake stitching so we don't have to run it through our sewing machine and it'll look beautiful. Okay, 
okay? And then you have that simple pocket. And like I said, to me, the punches, like circle punches and things are really important to me because I use them to make all of our, you know, little brads and things like that. So I'm just gonna take my glitter or scrap and you can just pop it on there. Use my hole punch. You know, it's funny because I'm enjoying just being home crafting. I always do, but sometimes I get antsy and I like to go out, but I find myself this past year really being content with just being home. It was probably COVID that did that to everyone. <laughs> You just like feel like being home now. Some people are definitely homebodies though. So I'm just gonna take my eyelet. Again, if you don't have eyelets, use your brads. I'm gonna punch that in there. And again, I did the front with um, the other one with vellum. So you can do the same step with vellum too. And then you have this beautiful pocket out of our scraps and who's gonna know? Like if you send this to someone or give it to someone as a gift card holder or whatever, they're not gonna know like you're digging through your scrap bin. It looks like something really well made. And so for this one, again, I told you that the circle punch is really important because you can take these and make, when you make your envelopes, you can make little embellishment things out of them too. So that's two fun ways. And I'm going to go back to uh, finding some more scraps here. Let's see what else we can make. This is actually a really good piece still. I wouldn't mind using this. So let me clean this up. Are we doing some spring cleaning or what? You guys are loving that envelope. I'm learning a lot from the junk journal world. So if you browse on YouTube, not just, you know, my channel. Um, I know I break things down a tad bit easier sometimes than other channels. Because that's really important to me for everyone to understand. But junk journalers have awesome methods. And I just try and implement them into things that we do that you probably wouldn't necessarily see unless you were a junk journaler too. But again, I have um, this. So for something like this, I would probably just do maybe just like an envelope or something. And if you don't want to go all out, you could just, again, just eyeball it and fold it. You could run it through your sewing machine right now or just glue it. And don't forget your hat and little punch so they have that. If you don't want it so far up, don't fold this completely over. Like for me, I'm just going to leave a little gap because I want to be able to get in there, you know, whatever's in there. And you can just fold it. And then you have this adorable envelope right here. And if you want to get really fancy, you could even run this through your dye machine right now and cut something out because I don't have my dye machine. Let me see if this will fit down my punch. So like that, and then take some of your, goodness, I can't find anything with my scraps. That is probably the the bad part about doing scraps is I can't see what I'm doing. Where did my glitter cardstock go? I'm sure you guys know, but I can't see it. Okay, bandit. Oh, here's one. Again, I've showed this on some other videos, but what you could do is take something like this and throw your glitter on. And you have this really pretty little simple envelope. So using your simple scrap glitter as well as that. 
This could even be an album too if you go sideways, but obviously not putting the uh, heart in that direction. And then again, you don't even have to do that if you just leave the um, heart like that. Because if you put like a card in there, I'm just gonna take this and show you, it's not gonna show through. So whatever you have in there is gonna kind of just cover that. And again, just to make this pretty, I'm definitely gonna round this off. Okay, so there's a simple envelope. And let me see. All right, let's do one more. Um, okay, I need to, because I have a sample here. I forgot about that. So this is a perfect, perfect paper. And I know we all have these kind of strips. So there's nothing easier than creating a mini album very quick out of this. So let's say you're like in a swap and you have no time. This is, this is the one to be the winner. I need my bigger scoreboard so you guys can see. Oh my goodness, my desk is a mess. This is real life, you guys, okay? <laughs> this is how it is even when I'm crafting. So easiest album known to man besides the little card that we just did. I'm just going to score here at three, six, and nine inches. Okay, and I am going to just fold it back and forth depending what side you're using. Again, don't worry if this is single-sided paper or double. You can fill it up inside either way. This is not that even. I should have used my bone folder, but I didn't. And that's all you're going to really do. And basically, I'm just going to take my um, punch right here. And we're just gluing this down. Um, I feel like this side's so busy. Maybe we'll use this side. I'm just flipping it to make the baskets the cover because that was way too busy for me. Ah, that's better. That was getting too crazy. So again, just if you fold it, just make sure the middle's like that. Okay? And then um, my pocket is now on the wrong side though, but that's okay, I can fix it. I'll just make two of these and hope they're in the same spot and they are look at that okay and I'm just gonna glue this you're gonna have a little pocket there but I have so many scrap sheets like this so this is definitely the easiest way you can use it to make your album And I'll show you a little finished one that I made, which was like this. But look how cute. And of course you can, you don't have to, but if you've got that extra cardstock, just make some tabs just to make it pretty. And if you have this tab punch, if you wanna kinda like stretch these, you can just, you don't have to fold it, you can just cut it in half and use it like that so you have some extras. Because these would be great snail mail things if you made a whole bunch of assorted ones like this because it'll take you seconds to run your dye machine or use the tab punch. And then you can give a whole bunch of these as gifts so they can use them. Especially for planner people, they love that. They can use it in all their planners. And if you have your like circle punches, you know, like this is a little bit larger one, this is a great way to use your scraps to decorate inside of your album. So you obviously cut these out and um, clear this up. And then you can add your 
little like things and stick them all over here. Or you can just add stickers, like leftover stickers, which I have plenty of. I'm just putting random things on just to fill it up so it's not empty. <clears throat> And again, if you want, you could take your scraps here and make a pocket. Like here I have some tags, so this would be great for the top pocket. And just to make it more interesting, I would probably run this through my sewing machine. Or you could add the glitter strip on there. Because it just makes the tag so much prettier when you just add something on it. Like I would probably run it through like right here and add some gold. I love the spring paper. Isn't it so cheerful? It doesn't matter what we make. It's going to be really bright and pretty. And I'm just grabbing some of the leftover stickers. And yes, this is too busy for me, but it's all right. I want to show you so when I this is what I mean with the um, embellishment like you just kind of run it through your dye machine and then you know you can add a little sticker on here or something and it'll just add more to your album well, let me grab one more sticker don't really have a lot of big ones left so I guess I'm just gonna put Another basket on the next page, which is kind of boring, but that's all right. Again, we're using our scraps. So, all right, guys, this is just a few more ideas you can do with your scraps. We've got a little card with a pocket. You have your mini album and your cool little envelope, pocket envelopes that are super easy to make, especially any size. And I love this one. I love the little bunny there. And then you have your envelope. So that's a lot of scrap ideas. I don't know how many more. <laughs> if I think of more and you like these, I will continue to do it. But right now my head is stomped. I wanted to try and put as many as I could in one video. Oh yeah, and don't forget, when you have these kind of projects too, don't be afraid to use twine and really make it pop. That's the last thing I wanna show you is, and I used to do this a lot in my older videos, but really, if you just add some twine, and they have this at the Dollar Tree, a whole bunch, like, not this specific one, but um, I'll show you a really cute one I just got. It was a purple and white one. They're actually making the twine better, because before it was a little too thick, but I think they're catching on and making it a little bit better, but just to make it, like, you know, more pretty or fun, but obviously you could decorate it, make it, but don't be afraid to use that on your like envelopes and things. Okay guys, sorry for the clashy mess, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I can't wait to hear your guys' ideas. You guys have awesome ideas too. All right, see you soon.